We now know that the CDC has issued new guidance and cruising is hopefully coming back this summer. But of course, as all of this happens, the Florida House and Senate just passed the bill that would restrict the port authorities from requiring vaccines for their employees. The one thing that has to happen in order for the ports to open back up. We gotta talk about this. Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining. If you're just joining for the first time, my name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruz. We are a cruise YouTube channel all about the love of cruising. And if this is your first time watching us, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you will be notified every single time we drop a video like this one, bringing you more breaking news. All right, so let's get into this. Do you, do you, do you smell that? I, I smell, uh, I smell some hope in the air. <laughs> we are so excited that the CDC has issued this new guidance and we covered that yester in yesterday's video. Um, but there's a lot of hope that cruising is going to come back and it's going to hopefully start possibly mid-July. Um, so we'll be watching and we'll be bringing you the latest on that. But as all of this is happening, of course, of course, that bill that is sitting down in Florida that would restrict any Florida businesses from requiring vaccines is sitting on the governor's desk. Now, we know that the governor has been a huge proponent of this bill and has said that he would sign it as soon as it gets to his desk. Now, it's sitting there right now. The expectation is that he will sign it. However, this bill directly violates what the CDC has said is the bar for allowing cruising to reopen up and allowing ports to go into these relationships with the cruise lines. So we've got Port Canaveral, Port Everglades, uh, the port down in Miami. What is going to happen? Once this bill gets signed, that immediately means that a huge chunk of this CDC mandate is is not going to happen, which means Florida is going to be again stuck in a limbo trying to allow cruising to come back and they're not going to be able to. Now, if I'm trying to look at this on the governor's side and looking, you know, thinking about what he's probably thinking, he's probably thinking, okay, well, we have a lawsuit right now. We are suing the CDC. He's probably thinking that that lawsuit is going to be successful. And he is probably thinking that Florida will be able to reopen up cruising on their own terms and not have to listen to the CDC or the federal government. That's my assumption based on just things that I know about him and, and the different things that he has said. But we'll have to see. Maybe we will all get a surprise and he won't sign that bill. But I, I don't think that's going to happen based on everything he's been saying over the past year, basically. Now, the ports have started to come out and react to the new CDC guidance rules. Port Canaveral came out in a statement and they said that they are so excited and they feel as though these new guidance that have been set out by the CDC are reasonable and that they're ready to open back up. Now, Port Canaveral is the second busiest cruise port in the world. And we know that they wanna obviously get back to cruising, but again, they're one of those ports that could potentially be blocked from being able to reopen if the governor of Florida signs this bill. Now, there's some other ports that have also reacted to the news. Um, down in Mobile, Alabama, uh, we know that that is a port for typically Carnival. Carnival normally has one cruise ship sitting down in Alabama and they came out with a statement late last night and they said we are so excited about this news and the, the statement was directed <laughs> at Carnival Cruise Line. And they said we are ready to re-enter our relationship with Carnival and we invite them back to the port so we can start cruising again. Now this is a very very small port and when we're talking about ports in North America the Mobile Alabama port um, only generates about a million and a half dollars for the state of Alabama. So, you know, while all of our eyes have been on Florida, on Al Alaska, recently on Texas, not a lot of people are talking about Alabama because it's not known as this 
large cruise destination. But lest we forget, there is a port there and Carnival does typically have a cruise ship there. Um, it's very normal for, for Carnival to be there. So we'll have to wait and see. Let's see if Carnival re-enters a relationship and, and uh, comes to one of those port agreements with the Port of Mobile. Another port that we have some news about this morning is the Port of Bar Harbor. Now, we've not talked a lot about Bar Harbor as, again, it is one of those smaller ports. However, Bar Harbor, there's been some local, uh, you know, some local discussion, some local murmurs that there was a petition going around within the city of Bar Harbor to actually close their cruise port to large cruise ships and only let small cruise ships come in. Um, now, nothing really has changed, but they are getting ready to welcome American Cruise Line, which is the small river cruise line. Their boats hold about under 250 passengers, so they, they don't, you know, they've been cruising now for a few months. Um, they're welcoming that cruise line back this summer. So that cruise line will be coming back to Bar Harbor, and Bar Harbor will start to open back up to tourists. In some fun news today, there is a celebrity that has joined up with celebrity cruise line <laughs> okay sorry uh, a very very well-known actress has has come on board and is going to be on board literally um on celebrity's new ship celebrity beyond gwyneth paltrow has signed on as the new wellness partner um Gwen gwyneth paltrow part excuse me gwyneth paltrow and her team at goop are going to be um, coming up with new wellness and fitness packets for all celebrity, but they're going to be launching this on the Celebrity Beyond, and she's going to be on the ship in 2022. She dropped an Instagram post yesterday, which pretty much said um, that along with her group team, she's going to be curating, programming, and fitness kits to add to Celebrity's wellness experience. So here's a question for you. Do you want to go cruising with Gwyneth Paltrow? Are you someone that is a Gwyneth Paltrow stan and you want to get on Celebrity Beyond? Now for me, I just would like to get on Celebrity Beyond. <laughs> I don't care if Gwyneth is there or not. Um, but I am excited to see what this new wellness experience is going to be. You know, health, fitness, and wellness has been a big focus that the cruise lines have kind of shifted to over the past few years. A lot of cruise lines investing in their fitness centers. If you've been in the, into one of the fitness centers on specifically Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships, they are incredible gyms. The classes that have been offered there are amazing. The spas on some of these ships are incredible. So I'm interested to see what Gwyneth and her team are going to do and what they're going to bring to Celebrity that's going to be a game changer and is going to be different. Um, are you someone that joins the classes on cruise ships? Do you typically frequent the gym? I am guilty of always saying, I'm going to be in that gym every day. I'm going to be working out consistently. And then I never go. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining us again. This is JJ Cruz. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Also join us over on Instagram. I'm dropping the Instagram tag here and we also have a Facebook page. We've gotten a lot of new members in that Facebook page over the last week and I would love for you to come and join us. So it is the JJ Cruz community page on Facebook. We are Cruise with JJ on Instagram and of course, here on YouTube, we are JJ Cruz. That's it for today. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you around tomorrow.